on YouTube, it's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. But guys, week 12 of the APA Little Cup season, the St. Louis Creditors are taking on the South Texas Stabilize and Coach in vivid color. Now, this matchup is uh, gonna be pretty interesting. He's got a pretty decent team, and we have officially clinched playoffs if you didn't see last week, which is phenomenal after a very rocky season, I would say. Uh, we officially clinch playoffs, which is great. Uh, so has Vivid. He's also in playoffs. So this match really doesn't mean a lot. Um, you know, we kind of talked. Are we going to meme? Whatever. I say, you know what? Let's just build something. Like, I'm not going to take it too seriously. I built it really quickly, but I'm not, like, memeing, memeing. I just kind of threw something together. Uh, so I'll run through my team really quickly here. He's got a Drifloon, an Elicate, a Pancham, a Kabuto, a Jangmo, a Morlul, Spinarak, Magby, Fanpy, and Skitty. So there's some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, you can see the six I'm bringing. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through it real quick. So I'm bringing a hazard stacking Omanite here with knockoff Stealth Rocks, Spikes, and Scald. Just really trying to get those Stealth Rocks up. I think they're gonna be really good against this team. Um, and then otherwise we can knock off an item maybe, maybe weak armor or activate. We can, you know, get some speed boost or whatever. But uh, that's kind of the plan there. I've got uh, Opona, which is a rest talk set, which I thought was kind of cool for Morlul, but just in general, kind of slow down that Elicate is really the main thing. Uh, very specially defensive, so I can hopefully slow that thing down like I mentioned. I've got Marichan, also bulky with Eevee Light, Poison Jab, Drain Punch, Knock Off U-Turn, just like a pivot, kind of just a bulky pivot with regen. Uh, Berry Juicing, Stunky, pretty standard, Sludge Bomb Memento, Pursuit, Sucker Punch. Uh, pretty much for the uh, uh, Drifloon, I can Pursuit it, but also Sucker Punching Alakid is really nice. I have like max attack, so I can hit pretty hard. Sludge Bomb for more lol. Uh, I've got uh, Krabby here, which is an agility set. If I can set up an agility, I actually speed tie with Elekid if he's max speed, choice scarf. So it's not scarf, doesn't matter. But otherwise, we just hit really hard with liquidation sheer force, obviously. And we might not even need the agility, but we're going to be able to hit things pretty hard. And last but not least is our Phantom. I'm bringing Phantom mainly because it's a ghost type, so I can block his rapid spin if he brings Kabuto. Because obviously, I want to try to hazard stack him early game. But uh, Will Always, Leech Seed, Horn Leech, and Substitute with the Uranberry. Um, again, this thing is meant to basically just kind of slow him down a little bit and keep him from rapid spinning. I think uh, Spinarak does get things like Sticky Web and stuff, so he may try to set hazards, but honestly, my strategy doesn't really like get too hindered by that. Again, we're just going to have fun, man. Playoffs the next week, so my focus right now is just to kind of have a, a fun game against Vivid. He's an awesome dude, so go check him out. Quick question of the day is, what was your favorite moment for the Little Cup season? We made it 12 weeks. It was a really long season. I took over someone else's team. We're 7-4 and four right now. We finished 8-4. and four. That's incredible. 7-5 and five is whatever. But, uh, I mean, seven, eight and four is, like, a really good season. So, uh, despite our skid at the beginning and kind of middle, uh, we kind of picked it up here at the end and did pretty well. So, can't be too upset about this season, ultimately. But hit that like button for Little Cup, man. Show the love. And uh, let's get connected with Vivid and throw down here in week 12. All right, guys. We are connected with Vivid. Let's find out exactly which six Pokemon he's going to be bringing to our final Little Cup battle of the regular season. Of course, we've got playoffs, which are going to probably start next week or whatever. But, um... In the meantime, let's see what he's got here. That's okay, pretty much what I thought. No more lol instead. The Spinarak, which honestly, Spinarak, I think it does set sticky webs or whatever, but like, I'm not gonna be super concerned about it. Um, so I'm just gonna stick to my plan of leading with Lord Helix, which was the plan all along. If he sets sticky webs, like, so whatever, dude. I'm just trying to get my rocks up, man. Uh, they punish a lot of his team, they punish his switch ins, they make my job a little bit easier. So uh, if you guys do st sticky webs up, then so be it. I don't know how good like Spinarak actually is. Again, like I said, I kind of threw things together, um, and I didn't bring any way to get rid of hazards myself, which kind of stinks, but it does get, uh, does it? Oh, it does get Sticky Web. Yeah, so I mean, that's like his main thing, is his Sticky Web, so we'll see if he, uh, if he leads with it or whatever, but, um, he is gonna lead, let's see here. I'd imagine I'm probably faster than Spinarak, though. Um, I don't know, he's gonna lead with Argox, that is the Spinarak. Um... I am like definitely faster than him, so if he gets his webs up, like I can definitely stack him. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna go for the um the stealth rock here. I'm sure he's gonna just go for sticky webs. So I'm gonna get my rocks up, and then I can start spamming. Um, you know, I can start spamming a number of different things, and I could I should be able to slow down. Uh, he's actually got Giga Drain in this thing, so I'm focused. Sash, so I don't really care. Um, he's probably gonna go for uh, webs if I had to guess. I mean, I can scald him and do damage. I can also set up a layer of spikes here. I think I'm gonna scald for damage. I mean, I doubt he's got an EVLA, and even if he did, I didn't really care. Do I want a layer of spikes or no? I'm gonna scald. I'm gonna scald. Cause if he knocks me out here, it's no big deal. If he goes for sticky web, then I get my my uh, spikes up either way. He goes for sticky web. Okay. So I can choose to knock him out here, or I can set up spikes. It's just a matter of how I want to approach this. I mean, anything that comes in is probably gonna be slower. I guess would be the only thing. Um, so I'm probably better off just knocking him out here and gaining momentum in this match. So let's just go for Scalds. Or knockoff, I guess, would also work. 
Malkov should kill, right? He's definitely not, um... Scalded a lot. He's definitely not Eevee Light. Uh, I have to Scald. I don't want a chance that he... He, uh, lives. So, Omanite's gonna get a kill here. Not too shabby. Omanite kills Spinarak with Scald. Okay, got rid of Spinarak. He got his webs up, though. Um, if he tries to bring in Kabuto here to spin, I obviously have my fan Phantom, which should come in pretty easily. Obviously, I have to deal with knockoff, but here comes Tide Pod. That is definitely the, uh, Omanite. Um, I don't really care if he knocks out Phantom, like I'm going Phantom here a million percent, just in case, um, so let's do that. Uh, I should have brought like Choice Scarf Phantom now that I think about it, because I could have like baited this thing pretty good. But let's see if he predicts it, goes for a knockoff, or if he just rapid spins. I'm gonna get Sticky Webbed here, whatever. Um, he does go for the knockoff, so that's gonna probably knock me out or come close. It does come pretty close, but I at least stopped him from setting up, so like that's kind of cool. Um, so here's the thing, I I feel like if I'm him, I mean, honestly, like, I'm not really concerned about what he wants to do. Like, I can just sack something off here. I'm gonna sack off Lord Helix. There's no way he rapid spins, so I'm gonna sack off Lord Helix at this point. I don't really need it. And then I can go into my Mianfu, and then I can basically get a free Drain Punch on him. So, and that's gonna keep him from rapid spinning it. Like, if he wants to rapid spin, that's fine. He's gonna Waterfall. So I get a lot of information on his set. He's got Waterfall, he's got Knock Off, uh, he's got Rapid Spin, I'm assuming. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I just go into Marachan here, and I can pretty freely just attack. Um, if he wants to Rapid Spin, like, that's fine, honestly. It's really not the end of the world. Um, it stinks, because then again, like, my strategy kind of gets ruined in that regards, but um, I can also Knock Off. I think just Drain Punching is the best play, though. All right, knock off and get rid of his item. Did he even have Pancham? I don't know if he did. Let me look. Did he bring Pancham? Oh, he didn't bring Pancham. He brought Magby. Why did I? S oh, he did. No, he he didn't bring Jangmo. He brought Magby. Okay. He's totally gonna rabbit spin here. I feel like. He's totally gonna rabbit spin here. He definitely brought Magby, not Jangmo. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I think knock off's really solid here. I'm just go for knock off. He's gonna rapid spin, so he gets his rapid spin off, dude. Kind of stinks, man, because I just basically wasted Omanite for nothing, but it's all right. Uh, I knew he was gonna have it, so that's definitely Eviolite. That's weak armor, so it's gonna boost his speed. He was already fast to me anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, I get a lot of health back here, so if I just Drain Punch. He could go into his uh, Drifloon. I'm gonna make the safe Drain Punch play. Uh, if he goes Drifloon, it's fine. He's gonna knock off himself. Get rid of my Eviolite, but I'm gonna get rid of his Kabuto in the exchange, so that's fine. Manfu goes Kabuto. Okay, so Kabuto is gone. Um, obviously, that's gonna reduce the effectiveness of Marichan. I feel like he's gonna go Elekid. He's probably gonna Psychic me. So I'm gonna have a really hard time against that Elekid, but I think Mudbray is actually really good. Uh, Mudbray should actually be able to hold down a lot of this battle with Rest Talk. I think it's actually pretty solid against him. Um, if I can kind of manage my switches, Mudbray is really good in this match because it kills the Elekid and the Magby pretty well, and I can definitely live a hit. Uh, Krabby also looks good, but again, it's, unless I can get off a, uh, an agility, it's kind of useless. And I think Mianfu still has some viability, but, um, you know, not having the Eviolite kind of stinks. So here comes Socket. That's going to be the uh, Elekid. So this thing definitely has Psychic. Um, I just sack off my Groot here at this point. There's really no reason not to. He may Volt Switch, but I just made the safe play. Uh, so Elekid's gonna kill, kill his Phantom, and that's fine. Okay, uh, so he's gonna knock me out here. He's gonna Psychic. Yep, okay, so as expected. I'm sure he's got HP Grass um, for Mudbray. It's just a matter of do I think he would stay in. He's Life Orb as well, so it's good to know that's standard. Uh, HP Grass doesn't even two-shot me, so I can Rock Slide or I can Earthquake. I have a tough choice to make here because I feel like Drifloon comes in for sure. But, like, do I even care if Drifloon comes in? What is he going to do, burn me? Like, I don't really care. I guess a stockpile set would be annoying. The Earthquake here is so incredibly obvious. I have to Earthquake, though. I think it's my best play, so I'm going to Earthquake. If he goes Drifloon, it's fine. I can hit it with a, a Rock Slide in the following turn. And I don't really care about Will-O-Wisp because I am uh, Rest Talk, so... It's not the end of the world. I can also switch out into something else to deal with it. I have the Stunky, which can Pursuit Trap. And honestly, Mudbray, once the... Once the, um... Once the Drifloon's gone, like, Mudbray kind of goes in, so... I'm gonna make this safe play here and just Earthquake, because that way if he HP Grasses, I easily tank the hit. And, um... 
I knock him out, and I get rid of Elekid. Like, Pancham, I guess, could come in, but... See, you webs don't really bother me too much. I mean, they kind of affect Krabby, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to switch. Does he go Drifloon? I would have Rock Slide if I... Atlanta? He goes Pancham. That's actually phenomenal for me. I'll take that. Let's see if he's Eevee late or not. Does good damage to him. Okay, so I can knock him out on the following turn here. Um, I feel like he parting shots into Drifloon. But I, I don't know if I want to risk that. I can just go Mario Chan, really. What does Mario Chan do for me at this point? Like, I don't think he drain punches. I think he's going to parting shot. I feel like he parting shots into Drifloon here. 100%. Do I care about that there? I mean, he could have acrobatics on the uh, Drifloon. That would be the only thing. But Mario Chan can at least uh, hit him with a, a knockoff. I'm going to go Mario Chan here. I feel like he parting shots, but I think my way to win this game is Mudbray, so I'm going to keep it alive just in case he's got something that I wasn't expecting. But I'm assuming he parting shots here into Drifloon. Or now he's going to go into something else, but yeah, he just parting shots. Okay. Um, now he just goes into Elekid, I assume. Which is fine. I mean, I have Stunky, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah, I, dude, I could have I could have Rock Slide there and predict the Drifloon. I knew he was going to Parting Shot. All right. Like I said, I mean, this this just, I feel like this game just is all about Mudbray. Because Mudbray can take a hit from the Elekid and a hit from the Magby. And if I'm, if I rest and hit, like, hit a good Sleep Talk, then we're in good shape, you know? It just comes down to my Sleep Talks. Because I'm sure that Drifloon is, here comes Thermal. That's the Drift, no, that's the Magby. Uh, does he one-shot me? I'm pretty specially bulky. I mean, I don't have my Eevee Light anymore, but does he one-shot me? Magby. Say he's Life Orb. Yeah, he would knock me out. I think I just have to stay in, though, honestly, at this point. So I'm going to go for the knockoff, I think. Do I Drain Punch for health? If I Drain Punch, for, I mean, I could get burned. That's the only thing. There's no way he's Eevee Light, so I'm going to Drain Punch. He's going to Belly Drum. That's why we Drain Punch. All right, I still have Stunky with Sucker Punch, so... All right, so he's, oh, he might have belt, he might have mock punch though, so he might just win the game right there, I think. Yeah, he might just win the game right there. Um, cause he probably has mock punch, and I think plus six mock punch kills everything. I'll stay in here and I'll go for the drain punch, but I'm pretty sure he just won the game. There's fire punch, okay. He's gonna knock me out. Okay, so the question is, does Stunky live a plus six mock punch from Magby, which I'm assuming it gets it. Um, plus six, mock punch, no, he doesn't kill. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Stunky here. Uh, the problem is if I sucker punch and he mock punches, I fail. So I actually have to not sucker punch. I have to go for something else, AKA Sludge Bomb, dude. That's tough. If he, I have to sludge bomb, dude. Because if I sucker punch, he mock punches. I don't doesn't do anything. So he's gonna mock punch. I live it. Berry juice activates, which means I can live another one. Another mock punch. I'm gonna go for sludge bomb. I need a poison here pretty badly. Yes. Saved by the poison, baby. <laughs> Magby kills uh, Mianfu. With uh, Fire Punch, Stunky kills Magby with Sludge Bomb Poison. Yes, that was so clutch. Yo, Pepe hitting a clutch poison right there. Yeah, I knew I couldn't Sucker Punch there, so here comes the Pancham again. Honestly, like, I kind of want to keep Stunky around. So, do I go Cookie? Or do I just, uh, I can't Sucker Punch, it's not going to do anything. I think I just sledge bomb him, dude. I mean, I want to keep keep it around for the 
Drifloon, but at the same time, like, I don't want to let that that uh, Ella kid come right in. Uh, he just said not suckering was a good play if you had it. Oh, I had it. I'm going to Sludge Bomb. He's faster than me. He's going to Drain Punch, so he's going to get some health back here. Um, Memento was the better play. I just made the wrong play. Memento was the better play because I could have went into Krabby and I could have um, agilitied. So another poison would be pretty sick though. Not gonna get it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Memento then. Just on the off chance. It's gonna Ice Punch, potentially predicting a switch. Okay. All right. Here's my question: Like, what is Krabby doing to this guy? Like, how much is Krabby doing to a Pancham right now? Cause I can, how fast is Pancham? Pancham's pretty slow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, eh, he's gonna be able to get so much health back with Drain Punch, that's the thing. Uh, let's see here, he still has the Drifloon too. So Pona comes in and he's gonna Ice Punch me. I can Earthquake him. I need a high damage roll. That's my best way to win this. I'm not gonna be fast with Krabby because of his. I'm assuming he's EVLA. Mudbray comes in, it does like 30 to 50. He's gonna give me defense boost. I can. Yeah, I think I have to go Pona. I think I have to go Pona. Since I'm Rest Talk though, it's not the worst thing in the world because he's gonna Ice Punch me here and it's not gonna do a ton. Like. It does like 50 to 60, but then I get a defense boost. I'm gonna Earthquake. It's gonna knock off, so that actually really kind of stinks. That was a good play. That's gonna seal the deal, I think, for him and allow him to win this game, that knockoff. I need a crit, Earthquake. We're gonna be just shy. Yeah. Alright. It's gonna drain punch and get health back here. Yeah, Krabby can't 2v1. I think I got an Earthquake either way, though. No, I'm gonna rest. It's gonna Ice Punch, I'm gonna rest. Cause I need, to, I need to be able to take these hits. So that's gonna give me a boost, and I have to just keep this Ella Kid from coming in. Cause now I'm plus two defense, so he can't break me, really. I should be able to rest before he can break me. Ah, uh, it stinks because he's gonna win this because of Krabby. But alright, we're gonna sleep talk. We're gonna We're gonna hopefully get a good roll here. I mean I'm plus two defense now. Him knocking off my EVA light was really good though for him. I kinda actually don't wanna knock him out. I don't know what I wanna do right now. Do I wanna knock him out? I don't know. I mean Ella Kid just wins, I think. Sleep talk. Rock slide, that should knock him out though. It's resisted. It doesn't? Okay, so that actually is kind of good. Alright, I'm gonna sleep talk again. Actually, I shouldn't have sleep talked. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have sleep talked. I should have just attacked. Because if I hit him, I need to hit rest here. I just made a mistake. I just made a mistake. I shouldn't have sleep talked. That's gonna cost me the game. Well, I think I was gonna lose either way, but. Please hit rest, hit rest, hit rest, hit rest, hit rest, hit rest, hit rest. That was what I needed. Okay, now I rest again. I need to get to the point where like, I have a lot of health to be able to live the Elicate hit. I don't even know if it's possible, honestly. I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, each, oh, he knocked me out. Dude, he must've gotten a crazy roll. What was that roll, dude? I was like plus four. What was that roll? All right, Krabby, let's do big things, buddy. What's 15? I think, I think, uh... All right, I got agility. Hope he doesn't get a ton of health from Drain Punch, and then I gotta... He's gonna knock off. I'm gonna agility here. And losing that life orb damage is gonna stink because now I'm not gonna be as strong as I was, but it is what it is. Maybe I can bring this game a little closer. Krabby with no life orb isn't gonna do that much, but at least I speed tie with the uh, Ella Kid. All right, I'm gonna liquidation here, I guess. Or knock off, I guess is probably better. Yeah, let's just knock off. See if he was Eviolite. 
I mean, Elekid might just die, even without the boost. He was a little bit weakened. Yeah, there's a chance I can knock out the Elekid. It's a speed tie. So, there's hope for us, man. There's hope for us. I don't know about the Drifloon, though. I think the Drifloon leaves a hit. Eh, there's a chance. Here comes Socket. It's a speed tie. So, if he's max speed. So, Liquidation's my best hit, I'm assuming. I'll double check, but I'm assuming Liquidation's our best play here against this guy. There's a chance! There's hope for us. All right, re-liquidation. It's a speed tie, baby. We're faster. This is a good chance to knock him out. Urgh, bringing it closer. Gravity kills Panchan with knockoff. Gravity kills whatever that thing was called. Uh, what's his name? Ella Kid with liquidation. All right. I don't know what just died on my team, though. Didn't he kill something? Oh, Pan Cham kills... What's his name? Uh, Mud Ray with Ice Punch. Okay, Drifloon. Can I kill the Drifloon in one hit? I doubt it. I don't think I can. He's not Eviolite, though. Maybe Colbert? Knock off this slightly more. 88 to 104. Going for the... No oh, that's if he has no investment at all. All right, we're going to go for the knockoff. It might be a bad play. Oh my god! Krabby! You're amazing! You're amazing, Krabby! He was berry juice! Krabby kills Drivelin with knockoff! Krabby! Krabby with the win! Oh my gosh! Krabby! You're amazing! And we all love you! I'm the best little cup player alive! I'm just kidding, I'm terrible at this game, but we finished eight and four on the back of my man Cookie. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good games to my man Vivid. Krabby coming through with the agility sweep, baby. Take that, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! <laughs> it's a little cup, it's not that serious. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, my name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop, I'll catch you guys in the playoffs. Peace. Thanks so much for checking out my last video. If you like that one, you'll definitely like this one. And be sure to subscribe for more as I post Pokemon videos every single day.